Learning Objectives After studying this module, students will be able to State the meaning of trial balance List the objectives of preparing a trial balance State, detect and rectify different types of errors Explain the various processes of locating errors Identify the errors which affect and do not affect the agreement of trial balance. Meaning of Trial Balance Trial balance is a bookkeeping worksheet or an informal accounting statement that lists the ledger account balances at a point in time and compares the total of debit balance with the total of credit balance. In other words, it is an accounting report or statement in which the balances of all ledgers are compiled into debit and credit columns. In a trial balance, ledger balances are segregated as debit and credit balances. On the debit side of the trial balance appear asset and expense accounts, whereas liabilities, capital and income accounts appear on the credit side. The total of all debit balances appearing in the trial balance must be equal to the sum of all credit balances, provided all accounting entries are recorded correctly and all the ledger balances are extracted accurately in a trial balance. Preparing the trial balance The trial balance is prepared by a company on a periodic basis. It is generally made at the end of a financial or an accounting year. However, a company can choose to prepare a trial balance at the end of any given period. It can be made monthly, quarterly, half-yearly or yearly. Therefore, we can say the trial balance is an internal report run at the end of an accounting period listing the ending balance in each account. Format of a trial balance A trial balance has an easy layout. Its common format includes four columns. These columns are given below. Account Title Ledger Folio Debit Balance Credit Balance In a trial balance, each line item contains the ending balance in an account. All the accounts having ending balances are listed in the trial balance. Objectives of Preparing a Trial Balance Defining the Term Trial Balance a trial balance is defined as a statement of debit and credit balance of the ledger accounts. It is prepared in order to prove the arithmetical accuracy of the books of account. Trial balance is also defined as a list of closing balances of ledger accounts on a particular date. It is the first step towards the preparation of financial statements. This is generally prepared at the end of an accounting period and it assists in process of drafting of financial statements. Ledger balances are segregated into debit and credit balances. The main objectives behind preparing a trial balance 1. To obtain summary information. It provides the summary information of all ledger accounts. It also presents the balances of all the assets, liabilities, capital, incomes and expenses relating to a particular date. 2. To help in making comparison and decision. It helps in comparing the balances of assets, liabilities, capital, incomes and expenses between two different periods. Hence, this information can be used to make important business decisions. 3. To check arithmetical accuracy. It checks the arithmetical accuracy of the books of accounts. If the trial balance agrees, it proves the arithmetical accuracy. 4. To help for locating and rectifying errors. Its disagreement is the signal for the existence of accounting errors in the book of accounts, which compels the accountant to locate and rectify them in time. 5. To help minimize errors and frauds. It helps to minimize various types of accounting errors and frauds. If the any errors and frauds are committed, the trial balance disagrees. Hence, it gives moral pressure to the accounting personnel to maintain books of accounts with care and honesty. Methods of preparing a trial balance 
The trial balance is important due to the following reasons. A trial balance summarizes all the financial transactions of the business. It provides a check on the arithmetical accuracy of recordings of all the financial transactions of the business. It also helps in locating errors by providing a starting point for the location of errors committed, if any. In addition, it provides a basis for the preparation of final accounts. Methods of Preparing a Trial Balance The three main methods of preparing a trial balance are Balances Method Totals Method Totals Come Balances Method Explaining the methods of preparing a trial balance 1. Balances Method in this method, the balances of each account are shown in the trial balance. The debit balance is shown in debit column and credit balance is shown in credit column of amount. This is the most widely used method of preparing a trial balance. 2. Totals method. Under this method, the total of debit section is written in debit column and that of credit section is written in credit column. The credited and debited amount in totality should be same on both the sides. And if the recorded amount does not tally with each other, then it signifies the presence of errors. It is necessary that all such mistakes are identified and then corrected. 3. Totals come balances method. This method is a combination of both the balances and totals methods. The amount column is divided into total and balances methods. Each method has further two columns of debit and credit. The total of the debit and credit under each method must be equal. Steps to prepare a trial balance Trial balance is the statement which shows the list of balances of all the ledger accounts. It is made for checking mathematical errors making of final accounts and maintaining the budget of the company. The trial balance is prepared after the preparation of various personal, real and nominal accounts. It is also called the summary of assets, capitals, liabilities, expenses, income, etc. drawn from the ledger account. Purpose of making a trial balance the main reason for making a trial balance is to ensure that sum of all the debit balances equals the sum of all credit balances. Hence, the trial balance is made to check the arithmetic accuracy of the general ledger and also ensure that all postings to the ledger observe the rules of double entry bookkeeping. Steps involved in the making a trial balance Step 1 Write the heading of the trial balance. Step 2. Calculate the balance of each ledger account. At the end of each month, balance for each account in the ledger must be calculated. Step 3. List each account in the ledger and put the balance in the debit or credit column as appropriate. In the trial balance, each ledger account is listed first. Then, the balance of each account at the end of month is written in appropriate column. Step 4. Total the debit and credit columns. The column totals must be equal. Both debit and credit columns should be totaled. It should be then verified that the sum of debit balances is equal to the sum of credit balances. Significance of Agreement of a Trial Balance Trial Balance and its Features The trial balance is the list of debit and credit balance taken out from the ledger. Its features include 1. It is prepared to check the arithmetical accuracy of posting of entries from journal to ledger. 2. It is not a part of the double entry system of bookkeeping but only for checking the accuracy of posting. 3. It is prepared on a specific date. 4. It is a statement of balance of all accounts or totals of ledger accounts. 5. Total of the debit and credit columns of the trial balance must tally. 6. If the debit and credit columns are equal, it is presumed that accounts are arithmetically accurate. 7. 
difference in the debit and credit columns indicate that some mistakes have been committed. What is the significance of agreement of a trial balance? It is of great significance for an accountant that the trial balance should tally. Trial balance is a statement made to check the correctness of ledger posting and accounts balancing. If the total of the debit balances is equal to the credit balances. This implies that posting and balancing of accounts are correct. A tallied trial balance means that the sum of debit and credit balances is equal. This proves that the entries have been correctly posted. However, trial balance agreements is not an absolute proof of accounts accuracy. It does not guarantee that the entry itself is correct. There can be errors which may or may not affect the equality of debits and credits. Classification of Errors Understanding the term trial balance The trial balance is a summary level of listing of the debit or credit total in each account. In other words, it is a statement of balances remaining in each and every ledger account classified as debit and credit balances. Trial Balance and Arithmetical Accuracy As per the double entry system of bookkeeping, the total of debit side should be equivalent to the total of credit side. In a trial balance, if both debit and credit sides agree, this indicates that the balances of ledger accounts posted are arithmetically accurate. Types of Errors The errors are classified into A. The errors of omission b. Errors of commission c. Errors of principle d. Compensating errors 1. Errors of omission This error may be caused at the time of recording a transaction. This type of error arises when a business transaction is completely or partially omitted to be recorded in the books of accounting. 2. Errors of commission these types of errors are caused because of incorrect or wrong casting of subsidiary books, recording of transactions, totaling or balancing of the account, posting, carry forward. These errors may not hamper the trial balance. 3. Errors of principle. These errors are caused due to the violation of generally accepted accounting principle, such as incorrect allocation between capital and revenue items. 4. Compensating errors. When two or more errors are committed in a way that the effect of one error is compensated by the effect of the other error, this type of error is called compensating error. This type of error does not hamper the agreement of trial balance. Searching the errors Type of errors Four types of errors are listed below. Errors of omission Errors of commission Errors of principle Compensating errors Searching or locating errors If the trial balance does not agree, it indicates that certain errors exist in the books of accounts. The checking generally begins from the trial balance itself. Following steps are taken to locate or search the errors. 1. Do the retotaling of debit and credit columns of the trial balance. 2. Check that cash balance and bank balance are properly and correctly listed in the trial balance. 3. Verify that the opening balances have been correctly brought forward in the current accounting year from the previous accounting year. 4. Recheck the all the amounts listed in the trial balance and confirm that all the ledger balances have been copied down. 5. Confirm the totals in the lists of sundry debtors and sundry creditors. 6. Verify the casting and carry forward of all subsidiary books. 7. Compute the account balances again. 8. Confirm the postings of individual items from the subsidiary books. 9. Recheck the correctness of postings in accounts from the books of original entry. 10. After all the above mentioned steps, if the errors still cannot be located, then the difference is transferred to a suspense account.
This suspense account is closed after the mistake is found. Meaning and Utility of Suspense Account Defining Suspense Account A suspense account is an account where an accountant records unclassified transactions. This account temporarily holds entries while an accountant decides how the entries will be classified. It can also hold information about discrepancies until more data is gathered. What type of account is a suspense account? This is a type of holding account which is found in the general ledger. A suspense account can be an asset or liability depending on the transaction in question. If an asset is in question, the suspense account is a current asset because it holds payments related to the accounts receivable. It can also be a liability if it holds accounts payables. Suspense Account and Trial Balance A trial balance is the closing balance of an account that is calculated at the end of an accounting period. When debits and credits don't match, the difference is held in a suspense account until the correction is made. If the credit balance in the trial balance is more than the debit balance, the difference is recorded as a debit. If the debit balance is larger than the credit balance, the difference is then recorded as a credit. The suspense account is listed under other assets on the trial balance sheet. This account is closed after corrections are made. Thus, it no longer remains a part of the trial balance. Utility of suspense account. It is used when a partial payment is received. A payment is received but the customer who paid is not known. A fixed asset is bought but not yet received. Not sure about how to classify a transaction. Disposal of suspense account The suspense account is a general ledger account. It acts as a holding account until the existing error or unknown transaction is identified. During work, you can open one suspense account in order to hold all the discrepancies until you find them. However, suspense account is a temporary account that must be closed by the end of an accounting cycle. Trial Balance and Suspense Account When in a trial balance, the debit and credit balances do not match or some entries are not clear, a suspense account is then created to provisionally balance the two sides. How is the suspense account disposed of? In order to reconcile a trial balance, a suspense account which is an imaginary account is used as a temporary measure. Later, when the errors affecting the suspense account are located, rectification entries are passed with the help of the suspense account. Rectification Entries While passing the rectification entries with the help of suspense account, certain points are to be taken care of. These are 1. Suspense account is used to rectify only those errors which have an effect on the trial balance. 2. If the account which is to be rectified is debited in the rectifying entry, then the suspense account will be credited. This is to complete the double entry. 3. If the account which is to be rectified is credited in the rectifying entry, then the suspense account will be debited. This too is done to complete the double entry. Rectification of Errors Rectification of errors is a process of making correction of errors which had been made in the books of accounts of company. These errors could be made due to ignorance or incomplete knowledge of accounting principles. At times, errors are also made because of cheating by employees or accountant. Types of Rectification of Accounting Errors The types of rectification of errors are given below. 1. Two-sided errors. It does not affect the trial balance. 2. One-sided errors. It affects the trial balance. Rectification of errors which do not affect the trial balance. Two-sided errors. These types of errors affect two accounts simultaneously. Examples of such errors. Omission to pass an entry. Wrong recording of a transaction. Posting to a wrong account. Errors of principle. These errors are rectified by passing a journal entry, that is, 
debit of one account and credit of other. This rectification process involves A. Restoring the effect of correct debit or credit. B. Cancelling the effect of wrong debit or credit by reversing it. Rectification of errors which affect the trial balance. One-sided errors. These errors affect only one account. Examples of these errors are Subsidiary books are undercast, totaled less or overcast, totaled in excess. Posting to an account is altogether omitted. Posting is done on the wrong side of an account. Posting of a wrong amount is done. Rectification at this point does not require a rectification entry. Instead, only the amount needs to be adjusted in the account by writing the amount on debit or credit side of the account which is affected by the error. Rectification of errors in the next accounting year Rectification of errors that cannot be located in the existing accounting year in case when accountant is unable to locate errors in a given accounting year, the errors cannot be rectified before the finalization of financial statements. Hence, the suspense account cannot be closed. Therefore, the balance of suspense account will be carried forward to the next financial year. In this situation, Profit and loss adjustment account is debited or credited in lieu of accounts of expenses or losses and incomes or gains in order to avoid the impact on the income statement of the next accounting year. Guiding Principles for Rectification of Errors 1. If the error is at posting stage, assume that that recording in subsidiary books has been done correctly. 2. If the error is in books of original entry, assume all postings are accordingly done. 3. In case where error is posted to a wrong account on wrong side without mentioning amount of posting, it should be assumed that posting has been done with the amount as per original recording of transaction. 4. In case where posting is done to a correct account but the amount is wrong without mentioning side of posting, then assume that posting has been done on the correct side. 5. When the error is in posting to a wrong account without mentioning side and amount of posting, then it should be assumed that posting has been done on the right side with the right amount. 6. In case error is of posting to a wrong account with wrong amount without mentioning the side of posting, assume that posting has been done on right side. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. A trial balance is defined as a statement of debit and credit balance of the ledger accounts. The main objectives of preparing a trial balance are to obtain summary information, to help in making comparison and decision, to check arithmetical accuracy, to help for locating and rectifying errors, to help minimize errors and frauds. The three main methods of preparing a trial balance are Balances method Totals method Totals come balances method. The main reason for making a trial balance is to ensure that sum of all the debit balances equals the sum of all credit balances. Different types of errors in trial balance are Errors of omission, errors of commission, errors of principle, compensating errors. A suspense account is an account where an accountant records unclassified transactions. Rectification of errors is a process of making correction of errors which has been made in the books of accounts of the company. The types of rectification of errors are two sided errors. It does not affect the trial balance. One-sided errors. It affects the trial balance.